up YouTube? It's your boy Tim coming back at you with another YouTube video and welcome to TA Vlogs. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, I would like to say welcome. And if you guys could, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. All of that does help out the YouTube algorithm. It helps boost my video to more and more people. So thank you to every single one of you guys that do that on my videos. And today we are headed to Kick Chella. This is a first time event over at the Georgia Convention Center by the airport. So we're going to go over there and enjoy some of those vibes. Right now I did bring some shoes to sell. I'm selling the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 lows some yeezys air jordan one bread toes air jordan four cool grays and a couple other pairs so let's see if we can make some money and let's enjoy the vibes of kick 2022 for the feet i am rocking the miss pac-man nike sb dunks Alright guys, so we are at Kick Chella right here and I yeah. just got rid of the Travis the Scott beautiful. Jordan 1 Lowe's. I hope they go to a good home. Thank I hope you, they do too. Thank you so much for working with me. Great guy right here. Great prices. Thank you. Thank you thank Alright guys, so we are back at the house from Kick Chella. It was a dope event, but let me get into some of the details. So as you saw in the previous clip, I was able to sell three pairs of sneakers. One being the Wifey's Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Lowe's. The OG brown and black ones. We were able to move those for $1,100. So that was a big ticket item right there. But that money is all going to Wifey because those are her shoes. The other two pairs that I did sell were my Air Jordan 4 Cool Grays. I sold those for $200. Bucks. And I also sold a pair of Yeezy 350 V2 Statics. I believe that's what they were. They were the v they were the static colorway for sure, but I don't know if they were the V2 or V3. But whatever the fact of it was, it was the Yeezy 350 Statics. And I sold those for $120. So not bad, not the ideal prices that I wanted, but I did want to move those from the collection because I need to add other pairs in. So let's get into the event now. So this was the first ever Kickchella hosted by ATATF. I believe those were the guys that I put it on and it was a dope event but I do have some criticism and some things to talk about about the event so they had about 10 to 15 vendors there not too many people there but it was a good enough room for the size so it did look a little packed and as I was leaving a lot of people were coming in so I guess a lot of people were coming a lot later to the event now one dope thing that they did have was they had a lot of cars there supposedly they had like five or six cars from little baby we also had cars from Harrison Neville and his boys so that was cool that they had a mix of cars and sneakers now in the middle of the venue as you guys saw in the footage they did have this blue rectangle box it was huge and they did have a DJ table on on top of that where they were playing music which had a generally good vibe I did get there right at 12 o'clock and in the beginning it was a lot slower and throughout the day it did tend to pick up one thing that wasn't my favorite about the event is that they had these skateboarders going around the event and they were skateboarding pretty close to people which I thought was pretty dangerous either the skateboarder could get hurt or somebody else could get hurt so I wasn't really a big fan of that but it was cool to see something different they also had a half court basketball court in the back which they people were shooting which was dope I do like that aspect we have seen that with sneaker cons and Kais Omar's event where they introduce you know basketball court where the people can come and shoot some baskets so that was dope and obviously the people that we talked to were amazing there the vendors the youtubers the store owners we made a lot of good connections and we met a lot of cool people today so shout out to all you guys that we talked to today overall it was a good first event but like I said it was a first event so they were some things to work on some things to change and some things to improve on but overall I was extremely happy we were able to sell some sneakers make some money have a good time have a good 
good vibe and talk to a lot of people. So it's a good event in my book. All right, guys. Well, that's kind of wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And guys, in the comments down below, let me know, did I sell those Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s for too low? I think $1,100 was a great price. I left some room on the bone for him to make some money. And obviously, I hit those for retail, so I made a ton of money back. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Both of those links will be down in the description box below. And if you guys are looking to join a Discord, I would really appreciate you guys join up on my Discord. It's going to be the top link down in the description box below. We are continuing to grow out the community over there, and I appreciate every single one of you guys that join up. All right, guys. It's been your boy, Tim. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.